What it is, y'all? It is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back with more Dokkan Battle. Now, I have something planned for later today. Hopefully, I can make it work out. I have not been able to make it work out all weekend, but hopefully, I finally have it. Now, before we get into that, though, we did get the information for the Super Saiyan 4 Easy A's, and this is actually pretty apt. I really like these. So, let's get into it. Goku. Now, largely, I think we kind of all agreed when they first came out that Vegeta was better than Goku. Like, I mean, he just was harder hitting. He was kind of slightly better all the way around. I think Goku actually takes the cake on this one. Now, they've kind of swapped roles. They're, they're still, like, largely the same overall role. In fact, I'll start with Vegeta, okay? Now, Leader Steel, you kind of, kind of expect it's going to be uh, key plus three, attack and defense, 130% for super types, and for extreme types, key three, attack and defense, 90%. That's what all the 120s have gotten for their leader skill, so it's kind of what you can expect, okay? Final Shine Attack. This is where we start to get really interesting stuff. Greatly raises defense for one turn. It's very nice. Causes immense damage to the enemy, greatly lowers defense, and raises attack by 30% for six turns. Okay, I'll explain in a moment why I say, like, that's great. He's going to hit like a truck, and he always has hit like a truck. He's always been a harder-hitting unit than Goku in, like, a fair matchup. Uh, I did the damage tests way back, like, forever ago, so it's really not worth even, like, you know, going there. But just trust me, he's going to hit amazingly. But for most things in the game nowadays, Goku's going to be slightly better. We'll get to why that's the case. But first... Passive skill. Attack and defense, 150%. Defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack, 40% when performing a super attack. So he's going to get a much better, uh, yeah, much better super attack out of there. Now, I think I said attack and defense, 150%. It's not, a t it's attack 150%, defense 120%. I apologize. I'm used to saying, like, attack and defense. So attack is 150, defense is 120. This dude is a all attack, no defense. I mean, defense 120 isn't bad, but he's all attack, no defense. Okay? Medium chance of evading enemy super attack, encountering with tremendous power. And that, um, tremendous power is a 300% modifier. And I forget what the... 30% chance of evading is what it is. So it's not a very good chance of evading. I wish they had raised that. He they, they really deserves a buff in that regard. Because we have a lot of units now that do, like, crazy evasion on all attacks. Granted, you know, those are LRs. But we have units that do insane evasion. I really feel like this unit could have gotten, like, a 50 to 70% buff on evasion. It would have been just fine. In fact, both of them could have received that. And I think nobody would have batted an eye, personally. Um, eating essays on a lot of these bigger events can kill you. So you need, especially if you guys have been doing... Uh, uh, the Legendary GT event, that Legendary GT event, getting S8 is like the end of the world. So, yeah, I really feel like that evasion could get a huge, huge, huge buff and probably should have. That is the one place I really feel like could be a lot better. Okay, but that's just me. Lake skills are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Roar, Prepared for Battle, Shocking Speed, Saiyan Pride, GT and Fierce Battle, nothing's really changed there. Uh, categories are Shadow Dragon Saga, Pure Saiyans, Vegeta Family, Worthy Rivals, Saviors, uh, Grade 8 Power, uh, Miraculous Awakening, <laughs> Pro Prodigious Warriors, and GT Heroes. So, yeah. This is going to work on a lot of teams. Let's talk about Goku, okay? Same leader skill, Strength Type, uh, Super Strength Type, Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense 130. Extreme Strength Type, Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense 90%. Uh, now, here's where we get the big difference. Super attack, 10 times Kamehameha. Greatly raises attack for one turn, causes immense damage to the enemy, greatly lowers defense, and raises defense by 30% for six turns. Now, that stacking defense is going to come in super, super handy. If you don't, if you haven't been running some of these harder events, if you haven't been paying attention, stacking defense is where it is all at. It is completely there. Now, the difference between these two, okay? Vegeta greatly raises defense for one turn. The problem is Vegeta's going to have to attack before his defense really takes hold. Goku, on the other hand, after, like, turn three or four, is basically going to be almost built out. Like, you don't even have to essay. 
he's just going to tank, and he's setting up that defense for the following turn. That does mean early turns, he's not going to be so great, so for like extreme SBR and stuff like that, early SAs are going to be deadly, but when it comes to like the legendary uh, GT event, Goku's going to be just tanking stuff left and right by the end of it. He's going to be just hilariously laughing at things. Now, where I think they kind of went wrong here, okay? Passive skill, attack 150%, defense 120%. If they really, 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 really wanted to keep this, I would almost prefer an attack 120, defense 150. Because I really feel like Goku needs to focus more on that defense. But that does nerf his damage quite a bit, and people would complain, oh, why is Vegeta out damaging Goku? Well, he's just, he does. He always has. So I really would like to see more defense here. But that's, you know, like, I want defense 150%, because I'm weird, and I think defense is huge. Now, it's again... Raising defense by 30% for 6 turns. Do the math on that. That stack is going to be wild. Maybe he doesn't need the defense buff like that. But that's me. Okay. Now, here's the downside to all this. Okay. Now, Vegeta is no longer going to be the main attack here. Like, he's not going to do the damage he used to do in comparison to Goku. Okay. So, follow me here. He greatly raises the defense for one turn. Greatly lowers defense, but raises attack by 30%. Actually, no, with that raised attack, he probably will still be, get, beat out Goku. Yeah, he'll be he'll still beat out Goku. He'll see he still has Goku. I forgot about the 30% stack. So yeah, no, no, never mind me. He's he's still gonna just destroy Goku in all regards in that that sense. So yeah. Vegeta stacking attack is gonna be awesome. Problem is if he gets hit with an SA, you're gonna hate life. Though, though, with his evasion, he's still gonna be stellar. So you probably, honestly, could, I mean, throw him in the middle of the pack, wait for, you know, a situation where there's not going to be as many SAs, and he'll do great, you know? Like, Vegeta will hold his own, but realistically, like, Goku is going to be your tank. Goku's going to be your tank, and Vegeta, or Goku's going to be, like, the shield, and Vegeta's going to be the sword, pretty much, is going to be, like, the, the best analogy I'd have for that, okay? So, Goku attack and defense, 120% plus an additional attack, 40% when performing an SA, medium chance of evading enemy super attack, and that's once again going to be 30%, just like Vegeta. Counting with tremendous power, tremendous power is 300% modifier, just like Vegeta. Leg skills, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Roar, prepared for battle, shocking speed, Kamehameha, GT and Fierce Battle. This unit, a lot of people have said, is just basically going to replace the LRs. I think think I'm almost prone to agree with that. Like, they're really, really good. Um, Links are Pure Saiyans, Goku Family, Kamehameha, Great 8 Power, Turtle School, Miraculous Awakening, GT Heroes. Now, remember, we on Global don't yet have, and we haven't even been announced to receive it, uh, the same name update, which on JP right now, they can run both these units. Now, they can't run them on the same like same rotation because they're not going to link up but if i'm honest you could run a rotation with the lrs and one rotation with the easy a's and they're gonna wreck they're gonna destroy everything imagine the grade 8 power team with that combo where like one turn you've got goku and vegeta lr and one turn you've got goku and vegeta you know or you can even run the vegeta lr with this goku or you know whatever combo you want like with the same name update this is ridiculous ridiculous i'm a little jelly we don't have that but again you know we're only slightly behind we will probably receive that before the anniversary which i think they got that maybe they got that right before the anniversary i don't remember maybe they got it during the end i don't remember somebody somebody could probably tell me in the comments section when they got that but we're do that really any minute now and that would be absolutely fantastic so let me know what you guys think of these updates. I really think these units are amazing. Uh, the Easy A's aren't here for a few days. I think they are starting on the 23rd, I believe. So we're still about, what, not quite two weeks out. About a week and a half out. Uh, but still, like, fantastic updates. Uh, really looking forward to this, guys. That is my two cents on the matter. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Make sure you hit that like button. I'll be back with more Dokkan Battle. I, I have... Some makeup work to do for Miss of the Weekend, but yeah, we'll talk about that soon.